Welcome to the Hexabot Mechatronics and Robotics Engineering channel. Today, we will explore a very important type of motor used in automation and robotics, the servo motor. Servo motors are widely used in industrial robots, 3D printers, robotic arms, and high-precision CNC machines. So what makes them special? A servo motor is a special type of motor used to control the position, speed, and torque of a mechanical system with high precision. It doesn't just spin like a regular motor, you can tell it how far to turn, and it will stop exactly at that angle. From bomb diffusing robots to robotic arms in manufacturing, servo motors are everywhere. They provide accurate position, velocity, and torque control in real time. It's widely used in robotics, automation, CNC machines, planes, and industrial equipment, anywhere you need precise movement. A typical servo system includes a DC or AC motor, an encoder, for position feedback, a servo driver, a central controller, PLC, Arduino, or CNC controller. Real-world applications include industrial robotic arms, 3D printers, automated assembly lines, PTZ cameras, drones, CNC machines. A typical servo system is not just a single motor. It's a complete closed loop motion control system made up of multiple components working together to achieve precise position, speed, or torque control. Below is a breakdown of each major component and how they work together internally. A typical servo system has four main components. Motor. The motor is the primary source of rotary motion in the servo system. Depending on the application, it may be DC motor, used in low power or compact applications, AC motor, preferred in industrial applications requiring higher power and reliability, BLDC, brushless DC motor, high efficiency long lifespan motors commonly used in robotics, CNC machines, and drones. The motor produces rotational motion and connects directly to a gearbox to adjust torque and speed to suit the application. Gearbox, gear reduction unit. The gearbox serves to reduce output speed, RPM, increase torque, match the motor output to the mechanical load. Gear types may include planetary gears, helical gears, or harmonic drives, depending on accuracy, torque requirement, and space limitations. Example, a motor spinning at 3,000 RPM with a 100 to 1 gearbox will output 30 RPM, but with 100 times more torque. The gearbox ensures that small, high-speed motors can drive large mechanical systems with smooth and controlled motion. Controller, servo drive. The controller is the brain of the servo system. It performs the following key functions. Receives command input, desired position or speed, from an external system such as a PLC, microcontroller, or computer. Processes real-time feedback from the sensor, encoder, or resolver. Cacarensa error between the commanded value and the actual value. It generates a control signal, typically PWM or analog voltage, to drive the motor accordingly. It constantly corrects the motor's behavior using closed-loop control algorithms, like PID control. The controller ensures that the motor reaches the desired target quickly, accurately, and without overshoot or oscillation. Feedback device, position speed sensor. The feedback element monitors the actual position and speed of the motor shaft. Most commonly, optical encoder converts shaft rotation into digital pulses, a B-channels, 
for precise tracking, Resolver, an analog feedback device used in rugged industrial or aerospace applications. Encoders may offer incremental resolution, 1,000 to 5,000 pulses per revolution, PPR, or higher. Absolute positioning provides the exact angle of the shaft even at startup. The feedback device acts as the eye of the system, continuously informing the controller about how the motor is performing. UTA Layout Details Let's look deeper into how all these components connect and operate internally. Motor shaft. Gear system. The motor shaft is directly connected to a gear reduction unit. This setup helps lower the output speed, multiply the torque, Increase control resolution. The mechanical design varies, but precision gears ensure smooth operation and reduced backlash. Encoder attached to shaft for high resolution feedback. A rotary encoder is mounted directly to the rear shaft of the motor or at the gearbox output. As the shaft rotates, the encoder emits digital pulses. Example, 2000 PPR, one pulse every 0.18 degrees. With quadrature decoding, counting rising falling edges of A and B channels, resolution can be quadrupled. This allows precise tracking of angular position and speed. Controller logic, command versus feedback. A command signal is received. For example, rotate to 90 degrees. The encoder reports the current shaft position. For example, currently at 85 degrees. The controller calculates error equals 90 degrees minus 85 degrees equals is 5 degrees. Based on this error, the controller generates a control signal, PWM slash analog voltage, to move the motor. The motor moves forward by 5 degrees. The encoder continuously updates its position. The controller keeps correcting until the error is zero. This process happens thousands of times per second, allowing high speed and high accuracy motion control. A servo motor works based on the principle of a closed loop control system. This means the system continuously monitors the difference between the desired position and the actual position, and then automatically adjusts to reach the exact target with high precision. Here's how it works step by step. A desired position signal is sent to the servo controller. The encoder provides the actual shaft position back to the controller. The controller compares these values and generates an error signal. This signal is fed to a PID controller, which adjusts the motor power to reduce the error. The motor moves until the error is zero, meaning the actual position matches the desired one. This loop repeats thousands of times per second, allowing real-time correction. Torque and speed are also controlled using current and voltage feedback in more advanced servo drives. Step-by-step -step operation. 1. Command signal, set point. A control system, such as a PLC, microcontroller, or industrial PC, sends a command to the servo driver, for example, rotate the shaft to 90 degrees. This is the desired target value, also known as the position command. 2. Motor starts moving. Based on the input command, the servo driver sends electric current to the motor, making it rotate in the required direction and speed toward the target position. 3. Feedback from encoder. As the motor rotates, the encoder attached to the shaft 
continuously sends real-time feedback signals to the controller, indicating the actual position. Example, currently at 45 degrees, now at 70 degrees. This feedback is fast and highly accurate, often with resolution from 1,000 to over 5,000 pulses per revolution. Error calculation. The controller compares the desired position with the actual position to calculate the error. Error equals desired position minus actual position. Example, desired 90 degrees, actual 75 degrees, error equals 15 degrees 5. PID controller adjusts motor output. The error is fed into a PID controller algorithm, which calculates how much and how fast the motor should correct itself. P, proportional, reacts to the present error I, integral, corrects past accumulated errors. D, derivative, anticipates future error based on the rate of change. The PID output adjusts voltage, current sent to the motor, ensuring smooth and accurate movement without overshoot. 6. Continuous Feedback Loop The encoder continues to update the actual position. The controller continues to calculate error. The motor keeps adjusting. This loop runs thousands of times per second, typically 1 kHz to 10 kHz or more. Once the actual position matches the target, the error becomes zero. The motor stops precisely at the desired point and can hold its position firmly using holding torque. Real-world example, you want the motor to move to 90 degrees. Controller sends command, go to 90 degrees. Motor starts rotating. Encoder reports actual position. Now at 75 degrees, controller calculates error. 90 degrees minus 75 degrees equals 15 degrees. PID adjusts power. Motor continues to rotate. Once it reaches 90 degrees, error equals zero. Motor stops exactly at 90 degrees. If disturbed, the system reacts instantly to return the shaft to 90 degrees. Advanced, speed and torque control. Modern servo systems also allow speed control by calculating the rate of change of position from the encoder. Torque control by adjusting the current to the motor, since torque is proportional to current. This makes the servo suitable for tasks like precision pressing, force control, or overload protection. Advantages, high precision, easy position, and speed control. Feedback prevents missed steps. Smooth and quiet operation. Disadvantages. More expensive requires more complex control systems than stepper motors. In summary, servo motors are ideal for applications requiring accuracy, flexibility, and feedback. Understanding how they work helps you design better robotic and automation systems. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe Hexabot channel and share it with your fellow engineers.